Myasthenia gravis is a neurologic condition that patients fail to transmit their nerve impulses in their muscles so that they get weak with repeated motion or repeated activities. And that is thought to arise from antibodies that are produced by the thymus gland, which interfere with or block transmission of those nerve impulses leading to the symptoms of myasthenia gravis. One of the treatments that has been there is surgical removal of the thymus gland, and that's been around for 40 or 50 years. And it was first noted by surgeons a long time ago that if you took the thymus gland out, in lots of patients, the myasthenia gravis will completely resolve and get better. Not in everybody, but that's sort of what happens. So in patients with myasthenia gravis who have their thymus removed, I generally tell patients that about a third of people who have their thymus gland removed will be medication-free free, and their myasthenia gravis will be well-controlled. About a third of people will be on dramatically less medication but still need some maintenance medication for their myasthenia gravis. About a third of people will see no benefit. Our thoracic group believes that the more thymus gland you take out, the better the potential chance for remission. So when we thought about all these issues and having done all these different procedures, we felt the robotic procedure still offered us the best option and the best potential outcome for patients to remove as much thymus as possible. And so that's why we sort of have settled on robotic resection as our treatment of choice for myasthenia gravis in patients who need their thymus gland removed.